YTPC, Fort Smoking Pipes here. Well, I'm not sure I can get this video uploaded. I'm gonna try. This particular phone's not allowing me to uh, post comments right now. Something about the last update and the keyboard change or something. I don't know. It won't. Just sits there and spins like it's loading forever. We'll see what the video does. Imported briar. That's all it says. Don't even give a date. And 1849 by Sutliff. Sweet Virginia, spicy Perique. That's about it. Bright Virginias, Red Virginias, two cuts of Perique. A perfect vapor blend. Well, maybe. She's a little on the light side for old Ford. I like a little more flavor. But it has flavor. And it don't tend to bite. Which are big positives in my book. Still prefer uh well. Uh, Give me a can of that or a pound of LC's Virginia and I'll take LC Virginia every time. Nothing wrong with Sutliff's 1849. Great all day smoke. Price wise, I get more out of the LC Virginia. And I like the way it tastes better. Just a personal preference. I seen this on sale. I thought I'd give it a try. I am not sorry that I did. Because now I know. So I didn't make a video of it and take you along. Just bought a Metal detector, not a high dollar one. Probably about just about the cheapest one you could find. And a pointer. And I had a really nice garden trial here. To see if I liked it. I'm getting used to the metal detector and how it works so I certainly didn't want that in video land I had it finally figured out how to discriminate against all the iron nails and things like that that's a good and a bad thing I mean if you're wanting to find relics World War, World War Civil War stuff of course iron was prevalent You can miss some really neat stuff made out of iron. Did manage to figure out that since I was practicing in my own yard, that most of my uh, deck screws have probably zinc in them. Because <laughs> I could not eliminate them. I found some that I dropped. Over the years, over 10 plus years around here, <laughs> I probably dropped quite a few. Found a nest of sheet metal screws, 
from the tin building that I put up for the rabbits. Great news is I managed to pick them all up this time. I should get a magnet though. I did find a chunk of metal, I assume aluminum. I don't know. I know it's not, won't be touched by a magnet. And I know, I'm not sure if silver be touched by a magnet. Don't know, don't think so. Be interesting. Anyway, I found a shiny silver clump that is non-magnetized. It'd be interesting to get a test and see what that actually is. I'm going to say it's probably aluminum. I don't expect to find anything in my yard that's worth a whole lot. And the most expensive thing I found today was a 2007 10 cent piece. It was ancient. Ooh, boy, it was an ancient. <laughs> I did locate one big washer that gave me a heart flutters for an instant. It was just thick enough on the side view that it looked like it might have been something nice. Nope. Finished pulling it out and there's a worm crawling through the little fender washer hole right in the middle. <laughs> I, had to, I had to sit down and laugh about that one. Well, the old briar, she smokes pretty good. I like her. And ain't nothing wrong with that subtle if it's just nice and light. We uh, kind of got a hazy day. It looks like forestry departments burning scrub brush again. Here we have controlled burns so that we don't get uh, wildfires going on. Few landowners need to do the same. They don't do it like they used to. Ah, they say dead air is bad news, so we get lost in thought. YTPC. Ain't much chance this video is going to load anyway with the way that phone's acting, but if it does and you happen across it, you'll be safe out there. Old Ford's hunting out.